there was a father who brought his daughter over to buy dumplings at our shop. Yeah, he said, Papa, why, why do we always buy bats here? Yeah. The dad told the daughter, Remember when I get old, Papa only eats dumplings from this shop. I felt a very strong sense of urgency to make sure that this, uh, our line of work continues. Uh, there's some form of continuity and um, that it just, it, it just doesn't, you know, disappear. Lah. I'm actually dealing with uh, operations processes and uh, process design. Uh. He's my manager, because our manager's work is to improve our production, to make our products more profitable. So he's also our manager's work. 各种工作什么安他安排的啦。He is very take care of the his staff. One day I remember because we need to go and prepare something at night time because this urgent work. So we go and together work three percent. Ah, we go and what after that we go and go to the Isco and then we go and buy some some of the food and then that we enjoy together. This memory very cannot forget it. Very good. I hope that twenty years later, someone come down. And taste our bachang or our kuis or our peranakan food, and they say, ah, this is the same thing I tasted many many years ago. It tastes just as nice. Food represents a lot of things to us in peranakan community. It tells a lot about the significance of how we should live our lives. My grandma used to share that story about the kuih lapis journey with me. The different colors of the kuih lapis represents different phases of our lives. Uh, the bright colors could represent happy moments, success. Uh, the dull colors could represent failures and sad moments in our life. Uh, now, when we piece our good and bad memories together, the rainbow appears and that is life. You know, coming back to the family business, I look into how we can you know, incorporate different ideas, not only mine, my brother's ideas into our business framework, uh, myself particularly, I'm interested in various different things, but one in particular would be the heritage and community aspects of how we, we can play a, be a responsible business in Singapore. Edmund's very, very kind, you know, he's, he, he teaches a lot, you know, you ask him, you know, and then he will answer to the best of his abilities, you know. Allow me to take part in this, you know, I, I think it's already, you know, very gracious of him, so, yeah. Even just today, you know, this counts, I suppose, yeah. So now and then when we meet people, organizations, we, we do come across different challenges that's offered to us and we, we try and accept them as what it is and try and see how can we fit our business model to help. There are definitely people out there, they are marginalised uh, and disadvantaged and couldn't find you know, a suited place to work. We hope that the work environment in Kimchu, we can offer opportunities like this to know that they're a safe place to work. I came upon a situation where a kabaya was being destroyed accidentally by a customer. So that's where I decided to try my means to ask around and see who can actually teach me uh, kabaya embroideries. I didn't have much luck. Uh, it was where I actually collect a lot of vintage kabayas, go and see how the embroideries are done. And then with the sewing machine, I tried to replicate 
the stitches from there. When I wore a new collection of old kebaya, I just read it like this. I always say that a new collection of old kebaya is like a book. You have a story in your mind. You will feel that your life, you can create such a new collection of old kebaya, it's a very rich, 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 very rich. 在这些年，我看到了很多有趣的人，有不同的需求。所以，随着年月，当你在卖卡布耶的时间长，你开始感觉到，哎，卡布耶我们知道的，就是棉色的布料，有很多的缝隙，所以这是我为了尝试做一款更有趣的卡布耶，不仅可以变得更有特色的绒布，也可以变得更有风格的绒布，也可以融合在一起，成为你的时尚的搭配。I think the big challenge would be to allow the generation before us, which would be my parents, to understand that uh, the generation after them is now ready to take on the baton and do things uh, in a slightly different way. I see Kim Chu as a heritage business because our business from a humble food business, it has evolved and grown. Uh, where my other family members are all involved in different areas. My hope and dream is actually to come up with a process such that we can um, reproduce the taste at any location and at any time so that uh, it can be marketed to a wider audience worldwide. The story of the Paranakans, not only our family history and heritage, but the, the community culture uh, that, that belong to, to, to this part of the world and share it outside and beyond Singapore's border. Yeah.